Kanjotha says the Namib Desert Diamond Company is mandated to sell its diamonds to the international market with the purpose of maximizing shareholder value. Speaking in the National Assembly, Kanjotha could however not reveal Namdia's diamond prices. Because Namdia is engaged in gathering the pricing and market-related information as per its mandate, which information is commercially and competitively sensitive, the final sales margins cannot and should not be disclosed to the public as this poses a commercial risk of competitors discovering how much Namdia is selling for and clients finding out how much Namdia has made on each sale, bearing in mind that each sale is a transaction between Namdia and that client. The company was established following negotiations between a cabinet committee and DBS after the old diamond sorting, valuing, sales and marketing agreement between the two ended in 2013. To fulfill government's strategic mandate to establish a sovereign vehicle through which to check the prices of our rough diamonds in the international markets. This is not a new fad, fashion or craze in the industry, nor is it some misguided adventure into the unknown. Producing nations all over the world are increasingly asserting sovereign control over their scarce and finite mineral resources, with a view to ensuring that those resources leave a positive legacy behind when the mines finally shut down someday. He says Namdia is a state-owned enterprise that sells diamonds and report back to the shareholder.